Hello and welcome to episode 46 of series 2 of Become a Legend Story Mode. So where are we with Gabby? What's the sitch? Well, it's going okay. I mean, we're top of the goal rankings. We're in third. We're actually playing okay on occasions, but there's just cracks still. It doesn't feel like Guardiola has learnt from his mistakes from last season. I just hope that he has, and I don't know. Sometimes the decisions he's making in terms of tactics just don't seem to be quite right. Holding back at times, but then allowing ridiculous defending and the wing-backs far too much uh, license to roam forward without defending. It just, it's not quite adding up yet, but it's still early days. We're only in October, but this episode I think is going to be a defining one. I wouldn't necessarily say season-defining, but it could be uh, a very interesting one in terms of just taking the temperature of Man City this season. We've got RB Leipzig at home and then we uh, travel away to Liverpool. So I think we'll just get straight into it, take a look at the teams for our, um, what's this, our third game in the Champions League group stages. And uh, interesting, Sane and Mane, the Nays on either wing. You get some weird combinations. They never seem to have the same two together. It's Gabi Guerra up front. Gabi, I think that's a new face. I think that is a slightly different picture. Looking brooding there with the excellent beard as usual. And we've got David Silva, the cue ball. Lovely. A couple of notable eggs in this side, Fernandinho and David Silva, both with the beautifully shaved heads. And we're up against a team obviously very highly rated. They've got Timo Werner up front. I would say one of the hottest centre-forward prospects in world football at the moment. They've got Navi Keita, soon-to-be Liverpool player. And they've got good players all round. They've got a 67 rated centre-back, which is interesting. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's a exciting young team. Looking really, really good in the Bundesliga at the moment. So, uh, yeah, this could be could be a tricky matchup. Let's get into it. So I was thinking really about Gabby's time in England. I wonder if he'd be enjoying it. I feel like he would. Obviously, he's been here for a couple of years now. Started off in Liverpool when he was at Everton and now lives in Manchester, I assume. Or maybe one of the expensive villages around. But I think he's a bit of a culture vulture. A bit of a closet hipster is our Gabby. I can imagine him enjoying the, the music scene, the great food, the great bars of Manchester and Liverpool, and uh, I, I'd hope he'd be enjoying it. I, I don't see why not. I'm sure he'd be missing Neymar's sister, who's thousands of miles away, but other than that, I think he's... Uh, oh, I mean, obviously, he seems to have acclimatised well to the league, and hopefully to uh, to the country as well, to the north of the country in particular. Here comes Forsberg now for Leipzig. Into the box, cuts back inside of company. Werner's there. Good header away from John Stones, and it's well won back there from Fernandinho. Now Gabby can bring it forward. Aguero's making the run. Gabby looks to go into him. It's perfectly weighted. Battling with Bernardo. Great effort off the post. Aguero. So close to putting us up there. Good link up from Gabby. Found him with a nice pass. David Silva into Gabby. He'll turn away and spread it wide to Leroy Sané. Takes it on the run. Great pace from the young German. Gabby's the only option. Oh, he goes alone. Oh, no. You shouldn't have listened to me. Oh, Leroy. I'm so sorry. He's normally the last person who ever passes to us. And then there, he took our request for a pass way too seriously. He was through on goal. Now David Silva, if he gets time to turn, we're making the run. But we've made a good run anyway. Oh, it's found us. Away from his man, away from Kante. Oof. Is that Kante? Con I don't know. I was not sure if we were onside there. We were expecting it in from David Silva. But the run we made was good nonetheless. And uh, got it onto that left foot. Too easy for the keeper, though. To Mendy battles with Werner. Great header on. And now Sabitzer. Really dangerous run from him into the box. He's got Werner to aim for and Cater in the box. It's well cut out in the end. And then that's calm. Calm play there from Leroy Sané. Ball up looking for Aguero. Not the best. Oof. The ball was on there. Sané inside to Silva. Good ball into Gabi. Turns away from Ilsanka beautifully. And then finds Sergio Aguero. Out to Leroy Sané. Can he find the right ball in this time? He puts in a good one. Not a good ball at all, Leroy. Leroy. You make me insane. Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry about that. Ball into Werner. Looks to slip it through to Forsberg. Mane somehow missed that one. It's a good ball in. Otamendi, good header away. It's only out as far as Cater. That's well blocked. Can Gabby get to this? He can. Oh, no way. Referee. This is a netball. Oh, he's offside. All right, take it back, ref. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forsberg flights it in. 
It's out only as far as Campbell. Ilsanka with a bit of space. Well charged down by David Silva, but Forsberg now can chip a ball into Naby Keita. One on one with Claudio Bravo and we go behind here. Against the run of play, I would say. I mean, that is probably their first shot of the game. Let's take a look at that. How did Keita... Keita... How did Keita get in there? Otamendi nowhere near him. Company way too wide. Stones, Otamendi and company there. If you have a look and see how far apart they are when the ball comes in. It's just nowhere near the compactness you need in a back three. And now Sané yet to put in the right ball. That's not bad to the far post. Sadio Mane's there. And it's Sané to Mane. The two wingers linking up. Just as I was accusing Leroy Sané of being unable to pick the right pass. He uh, floated in a perfect one there to the far post. And uh, it's the man with the very similar name who grabs his first goal of the game. And our first goal. We're back into this one. That's a great ball. And the defender there needs to have a long, hard look at himself. Oh, Gabby. Great work. Intercepts. And then finds Aguero. Oh, lovely footwork from the Argentine. And now David Silva surely can put it into Gabby. Oh, he's away. And he gets the shot in, but it's charged down. Lovely ball from David Silva. Every time he gets the ball, we've just got to call for it. Because he will find you. And that ball was exquisite. Fortunately, we couldn't quite get the finish away. They do have a strong defence. And it's half-time here at the Etihad. And, yeah, okay. Okay, we were caught out by some trademark poor defending. All three of our centre-backs standing in different postcodes, pretty much. And that was definitely the problem for the goal. Gabby's not adding real chances in this half, but th th they'll come. They'll come. And I fancy he's got a goal in him today. Oh, Gabby with a double interception. Now Aguero's made a great run. Can we find it? No. Oh, we can. We can. Sergio! Oh, <laughs> For some reason, that looked massively over here, but it was absolutely spot on. And Sergio Aguero's goal drought continues. Got so many good strikers, none of them can seem to score other than Gabby. Great first touch. Little second touch, maybe not necessary, but it was at the right height for the keeper. That definitely helped. Third corner of the game here. Haven't really got close to any yet. Decent run here. He jumps high and finishes with his old noggin. As they say in Brazil. And uh, yeah, as we said, the South American Tim Cahill. Part man, part salmon. Best movement in the world. He deserved a goal from a corner. He's been due one, is what I'm saying. And that was perfect. I mean, the first two, actually, I think I could really felt that we went too early on the run. This one, still moving as the ball arrived. And that's key. And he rose high. Above the RB Leipzig defenders. It's not the best angle. We're not going to get to see it here. But it's a great leap. Look at the height on that. Beautiful. Oh, another interception from Gabby. Breaking up play. And Aguero lets it run. Great opportunity here. Gabby makes the run inside. Wants the cut back. Or the square ball. Or anything, Sergio. I, we were a bit late on the call there. Really. Shouldn't have needed it. Aguero into Gabby. Looking for options here. Sees the run of Sané. That's nicely found. And now Aguero back inside. Lovely ball in. Looking for Torre. It's going to fall to Gabby here on the right foot. Oh, he was in the right place at the right time. And on his right foot, he couldn't quite get it right. Another good chance though. 64 minutes gone. And we're having a, one of the best games we've had in a while. If we don't win this one, it's going to be disappointing. Long ball. Looking for the substitute. Lacazette does really well to take that down on his chest. And we can uh, start play again. Get into that. Pass it around. Not necessarily forward stage. Oh, Gabby can push through. Into Yaya Toure. Wow, what a finish from the veteran. I thought he could have taken a few more touches there. He could have made that a one-on-one. -on -one. As it is, he uh, made a great run. Rolling back the years with that run from the midfield. He used to be a true box-to-box -box midfielder. Now he's just a somewhere around the centre circle type midfielder most of the time. But there, especially in the uh, last 10 minutes of this game, he made a great run. He laid it off there. And then Fernandinho found Gabby and he continued his run. He got away from, I think that's Keita. And then, yeah, maybe caught the keeper off guard by hitting it first time. What a finish. Gabby gets an assist to add to his goal. And this has been definitely the best performance from Manchester City that we've seen in quite a while. Ah, oh, it's really well won back. Where are you going with that? Gabby lays it off to Lacazette. The ball through is beautiful. Gabby through on goal now. Surely, yes. Yeah, simple finish. And that's Gabby's second. 
Manchester City's fourth and this one is done. And as I said, this is by far our best performance of the season. And this is just good, simple one-two through the centre. Defender couldn't hang with him. And then it's a calm finish. And there we have it, full time here and an excellent, excellent win. Guardiola will be very, very pleased with that result. 4-1 at home against a side that could have easily been a banana skin and we were dominant. Only two opportunities. Timo Werner not given a sniff, which is lucky. He's a great player. Gabby gets a seven and man of the match, deservedly so today. One assist and two goals. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good performance. I like that side. Torre played well, which helps. Fernandinho is definitely the best option at DMF. And David Silva on a blue while he was finding everyone. Aguero still unable to get his goal. But, uh, Lacazette came on and looked okay. That's maybe uh, one to consider. So there we have it. It is match day three. And uh, we're top of the group. Nice. Three games, three wins. It's exactly what you want. Only conceded one goal. And actually, looking at this, Leipzig have lost their first three games and pretty badly as well. So it takes a little bit of a shine off the performance. But nonetheless, we did look good and we took the opportunities when they came. And that's important. And Gabby continues on the average rating of seven. How long can we keep that going for realistically? I, I don't know. So only four days later and it's a big game in the league. Liverpool always going to be a tough ask. And uh, going to Anfield as well. It's a cauldron of an atmosphere. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the sides. See how we're getting on. Liverpool have been absolutely decimated. And they always seem to be. Obviously, <laughs> we've got Mane. But they've also lost Mo Salah. Looks like Jordan Henderson's made a move as well. I think he actually, I think we noticed he'd moved to Portugal really early on. Obviously, no Ox as well. And he starts today for Manchester City. So yeah, they've got a few big gaps, a few obvious gaps. None more so than a Crave at attacking midfield. Doesn't look great. Doesn't look great. And they're not having a great season. Not a great start to the season. They won't be. Uh, they won't be in the running for anything with this side. And they've got players in that defence who hopefully we can catch out as well. Uh, David Silva remains in the side alongside Gondoan and Fernandinho as well. That's a pretty tasty looking midfield. It's Gabi Guerrero once more. Can Aguero get off the mark this season? I think he needs a goal pretty badly. Let's get into it. So before the last game, we said that would be a great way for us to uh, mark an uptake in form. Obviously, nothing's going to be decided at this part of the season, but we can just make sure we've got a bit of momentum going into January. And it's not far off, really. So we need to keep the wins coming. And a win today against a weakened Liverpool side, even away from home, would be really nice just to keep the ball rolling. Come on. Coutinho into Firmino, Flanagan finds Crave in a bit of space. Leroy Sané struggling to get back, good ball in, looking for Bobby Firmino, wow! Edison with the save off the line. And uh, they're putting the pressure on here, the home side. Coutinho now, dances, lovely ball into Firmino, the spinning header. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck was that? Calamity again. Edison has started today on a downward arrow, but that's no excuse for that. And Mangala, who is... A bit of a blundering fall at the best of times. Should have done better here. Oh, he should have just kicked him in the head, Edison. I don't know what... Oh, Christ. Aguero, lovely ball into Sané. Can he find Gabby in the box? Gabby steps back inside of Matip. Surely a foul there. No, no, okay, fine. But I think it definitely was. Gabby now. Hasn't really had a chance to run at this defence. Spots a great run, though, from Oxlade-Chamberlain. Perfect ball in. The Ox will turn. Whips it in, looking for Aguero at the near post. Doesn't find him. And Crave can head away, and he finds Firmino. Fernandinho gets there, wins it back well. Now Gondoan. Gabby's made the run. Aguero caught out. Gabby into Aguero, and then looks to spin away. Sane into Gabby. He'll get there. Can find the ball back to Fernandinho. What the hell is that? Just because you're a defensive midfielder. He didn't look like he was ready to collect that. He'd made a good run. Seemed to be surprised to see the ball coming towards him. Gabby stepped back in, and although he could have maybe gone further, he saw that the man was open. He spooned that wide. Aguero. Looks for the ball over the top. It's not a good one, but Gabby's going to get there. Oh, what? How did he get to that? Gabby just hesitated there. Went for the chip. It just didn't quite register. Shot didn't go through. And, uh, yeah, he pulled out. Not the brave centre-forward play that we're used to from Gabby. Should have been able to chip Mignolet there. That pass definitely didn't have enough on it to reach him. It's half nearly over. Gundogan does well. Only a minute or so left here. Oh, Sané with a mistake. 
We do get it away eventually, and that is half time here at Anfield. And yeah, not a single shot on target, only 40% possession. This isn't building on the RB game as we would have liked. Come on. Gabby back to Gondolan. Simple passing. Sané now will get there ahead of John Flanagan. Put a ball into Gabby. He'll climb ahead of Matip. It's going to fall to Oxley chamberlain Gabby with the back heel. That is audacious. That is pure instinct as well. Because I think he was already facing the wrong way. But that is lovely. Oh, you can't teach that. You cannot teach that. Only a born goal scorer. Who came out of his mother. And accidentally knocked some nearby scrunched up bit of paper. Into the bin. That's, that's a born goal scorer. I've absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. I just don't think I can really put into words how natural goal scoring is for Gabby. It's like scratching his bum to him. Just comes naturally. That's that's quite special. It's quite special. It's often you'll see a back heel. Maybe in that position as well. The fact that it's essentially, I mean, not a volley, but it's a first time back heel. You'd sometimes see it. Oh, that's lovely. You'd sometimes see it when a striker has their back to goal holding off defenders and then will on Ries sort of back heel chop it but that was back already to goal hit it first time and we're back in this one. Oh, good ball from Firmino that's well cut out in the end and now Gabby can he turn and run at this defense he can the ball out to Aguero is available and he'll find his strike partner Flanagan closing him down lovely turn away Aguero will put it in. Far post. Looking for Gabby. It's over everyone's head. Not good enough, Sergio. Come on. Nice ball out here. Looking for Pai. Slade Chamberlain comes across. It's back to Moreno. Finds Pai again. Good first touch. He can keep it in. Moreno now. Put it into Crave edge of the box. He'll get a shot off. Stones blocks the first one. Falls to Vargas. Oh, and the substitute puts it past. Edison, oh, for crying out loud. Can we not hold on to a lead? Not even a lead. Can we not hold on to a point here? I mean, what is that? Just, it just fell to him. <sighs> Moreno gets there ahead of Oxlade Chamberlain. Cuts back inside of John Stones. Ball into Vargas, the goal scorer. Could have been a second there for Vargas. Edison with a save in the end. Gondowan. David Silva now. It's a nice ball into Gabby. Steps back inside of Emre Chan. Little chip ball into the path of the Frenchman. On for Aguero. Inside to Gabby. Dances. Back inside. Oh, Matip. Just there is a last gasp. Last line of defence. Prevented what would have been a great goal. Oh, close. Bernardino, great stuff. And now Lacazette into Gabby. Takes it on the run. Sees the run back out from Lacazette. Will he get there ahead of Mignolet? <sighs> So close. We're so close to this second goal. Gabby steps away. And then calmly plays it back out to Raheem Sterling. Into Lacazette. Oh, he loses it, but Gabby's there to pick up the pieces. Doing everything himself here. Will Sterling get to this one? He does. Lacazette's there. Ball in across the box. Looking for Oxlade Chamberlain. Mignolet. Easy save for him there. And he'll throw it out now. Only two minutes left in this one. We've won it back. Oh, no, no. Come on. One more chance. Lacazette. Lovely ball into Gabby. And he's into the box here. Oh, Mignolet gets there. Surely it's a foul. Oh, and P will get it away. Oh, if we had full energy, we probably would have got to that. That's, that's disappointing. I think we did enough in this game. A draw, for sure, I think would have been fair. Oh, they dominated our possession as well. It's not good enough. Gabby gets another seven. It's one silver lining as we will keep our seven rating. But more points dropped in the league. Surely already the dream of winning the Premier League this season is slipping away. Deary me. Oh dear. And we're into fourth. And already Manchester United are eight points ahead of us. And they still haven't conceded. That's ridiculous. They haven't scored that many. But Mourinho's tactics are finally starting to work with United. He needed a season or two for them to bed in. Oh no, he won the league last season. They clearly have bedded in. I think that's all we can say about that. Gabby, 16 goals, 11 appearances, 7 average rating. He's got to be in line for the golden boot. And probably the Ballon d'Or as well. If he carries on at this rate. So there we have it. Disappointing end to what looked to be a step in the right direction at the beginning of this episode. But Southampton and Bournemouth in the next episode. Hopefully we can just steamroller them and we'll be right back in the race. 
And then uh, we've got to look forward to that United derby. That's going to be absolutely crucial as they're already pulling away. I'll see you in a bit.